More details have emerged regarding model actor Godfrey Gao, who died suddenly on Wednesday while filming a variety show. Reports estimate Gao to have worked almost non-stop uh, for 17 hours before he collapsed, and he was said to be unwell when he attended an event in Taiwan on Monday. Gao was a guest on the show Chase Me, a nighttime variety series which focuses on physical tasks for its contestants. According to a statement on Chase Me's official Weibo account, medical staff on the show immediately attended to Gao and he was rushed to the hospital, where sudden cardiac death was pronounced. Zhejiang Television has since announced that it has stopped filming the nighttime variety series. With us in the studio now to talk about this is ST journalist Jan Lee. Hi Jan. So this news came quite suddenly. What has been the reaction so far to this? Um, I think people are definitely shocked uh, and angry and sad, of course. Um, shocked because Godfrey Gao, by all accounts, was really in the prime of life. Um, he was very fit, he was very tall, um, he was a model, you know, clearly his, he was in very good shape. Um, and up till like hours before his death, uh, fans saw him and he seemed to be uh, doing okay, you know, he seemed to be active and looked fine. Um, and of course fans are in mourning and, and the, the stars that he worked with are very sad because by all um, accounts he seemed to be an extremely nice man. Um, he's never really had any negative news or controversy, uh, no drama with him the type to really like keep his head down and do the work. Right. Um, and I think he was somebody that people really looked up to in terms of um, Asian representation because he, he was the first Asian male model to front a Louis Vuitton campaign. Um, he broke into Hollywood. So I think there are people who uh, definitely looked up to him in that way. Yeah, um, the anger part is mostly directed at uh, the variety series that he was filming, Chase Me. Um, some people suspect that maybe the safety precautions weren't very well done, but these are all speculations at this point. Mm. Right, actually, uh, now that you've mentioned that people are accusing Chase Me mm. of being sort of dangerous or overly difficult, what's, what's your take on this? Um, I think there is no doubt that, there is an ex that it is an extremely um, physically demanding variety series, mm. but um, I think one of the regular cast members, uh, William Chan Chen Wei Ting, said um, that he was he is one of the toughest gigs he ever had to do. Um, so he did mention that once in a previous interview. So there is like it is clear that this is a difficult right. variety series. You hide this. Yes, but the thing is, you have to think that this is not uncommon. Like you think of something like Ninja Warrior. You know, that's also extremely physically demanding. Uh, even like South Korean series Running Man, you know, they have wrestling in the mud, uh, chasing matches. Um, they have like, they ask the talents to bungee jump. So this is not super unheard of. Um, it did seem to be a bit more demanding than the regular sports variety show. But, is and it is debatable how much they prepared for emergencies. I think the show has to answer to that. Um, it's also good to remember that um, Sudden cardiac death is tragic and it's senseless, but it's not unheard of. You know, we have, we know cases of athletes collapsing, mm -hmm. of um, even like army boys collapsing uh, yes. midway through running. And Gao's manager has come out to clarify that he was attended to immediately. Mm -hmm. So because there were rumours that uh, the show didn't cut, negligent, they, negligent, they took a very long time to right. attend to him. And Gao's manager has come to say that's not true. Mm -hmm. And um, the nuance here is, I think it's important to remember that for a show, it's truly the worst thing to have a star die on set. Mm. The show is over, it's never coming back. And fans will be angry because stars have fans and fans rally behind these people. So sponsors are cutting ties, you know, in this case, I think it was the um, smartphone company Vivo, mm. cutting ties with it. So it is in a, sh in a show's interest, drama or variety, um, to protect its talents, to protect the stars. And it's also important to remember that a star is very likely the most well taken care person right. on set. Um, they have managers advocating for them, they have assistants to take care of them, they will be fed, they will be clothed, um, especially famous stars like Godfrey Gao. Um, and that they, even if they do work long hours, um, their working hours are likely to be shorter than, say, the lighting guys, the sound guys, you right. know, people who set, do production the set, stuff, yeah, the production right. stuff. So that's a nuance that I think is good to keep in mind. Um, I think the show definitely should clarify some of the safety precautions that were in place and right. whether they were truly prepared for it. That's really out for debate and we really have to, you know, 
is a conversation to be had. And I think it is a conversation to be had about why variety shows keep trying to up the ante right. to be like, this challenge is really difficult, come tune in, because they're trying to earn eyeballs and there's a conversation to be had about whether this is even necessary. Right. And um, Zhejiang Television, which is the uh, broadcast station behind mm -hmm. Chase Me, has had a history of um, like some workplace accidents la, that Ooh, people are pointing okay. to uh, in light of Gao's death to say that maybe they are not the best at managing okay. the sort of sets. Okay. So of course all of that has to be addressed mm. but um, I think online right now there are a lot of rumours about mm. the number of hours he worked, about whether he was attended to immediately. There are right. all rumours, they are absolutely Entirely all rumours. They are all based on unverified uh, accounts, right. first hand, second hand, third hand, we don't know. So. At this point, I think a lot of people are out for blood. They're angry, right? Because he died and it's a young, vibrant life and it's just gone so suddenly and people cannot accept it and they're angry. But it's also good to remember that at this point, a lot of things are speculation and we really just have to take a step back before we make judgment. I see. So, you know, as you say, wise to reserve judgment until sort of more details come to Yes, back. yes. Well, thanks, Jen, uh, for coming on to share more with us. And those were the top stories of the day. Uh, for more news and videos, do head on to our website at straightstimes.com. Once again, I'm Kimberly Jiao. Join us tomorrow for more of The Big Story.